Darth Beard here, my friends, with the top five things you can do to keep sane during the lockdown in SOTOR. That's right, we have a little bit more time in our hands than we're quite used to, so let's take a look and see what things I think you should do to pass the time. Where's the whiskey? Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in a galaxy far, far, far away? If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your SOTOR fun news, guides, and updates right here, right now. My friends, like I said in the opening package to this video, we have found ourselves with a bit more time in our hands than we are usually accustomed to, which means a lot more gaming. And for those of you guys who are big SOTOR people who are on this channel, of course, more time to play SOTOR. So what do we do? What do we do to mix things up a bit out of the outside of the usual just running around and, and well, you know, doing things that you normally would do? Let's mix things up a bit. So here are a couple of ideas that I have. I've been thinking about uh, that I think, you know, if you're new to the game or if you're new to certain things or if you're just stuck uh, doing this one thing, maybe it's time to branch out because, you know, we have more time in our hands. So, so yeah. So let's get into it and see some of the things that I have for you. And uh, But don't worry. You can do whatever you want in the game. This is my idea. This is my opinions. And I'm sure you guys have better ideas, which I want to hear in the comment section below. So let's get to it. Let's start this thing. Well, my friends, maybe you're bored. Maybe you're like, well, I just want to make some more credits. I mean, how do I do that without just being, you know, sitting on my butt doing, well, absolutely nothing, letting my tunes doing it for me? Well, why don't you get yourself into some flashpoints or some heroics? That's right. Here's a heroic. Now, heroics are a good place to make some credits. I mean, depending on which heroic you do, you uh, the amount will vary. But also, when you get in there, you will also have... Um, gear and crap that you will also get from these heroics that will drop that you can also just tune turn in for credits and all that jazz plus if you haven't done all of them this is a good chance to get your achievements now let's go on to the next thing well here's another thing you can do since we have some big changes coming to the conquest system uh, some of it has already been implemented and some more stuff coming our way you can knock out some of your conquest challenges if you haven't really done much of anything with conquest which i happen to be one of those people who haven't really touched conquest too much at all and i've just started to get in there and started up doing the conquest point and you can see there's tons of stuff the do and conquest you have everything from operations to crafting to elam to iocath to critical missions blah 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 gsf and starfighter and all that fun jazz and war zones as well so you pretty much can do anything in this game and work towards working on your conquest stuff as well and perhaps that's one thing you can do to fight off the boredom of quarantine and you know just trying to get as much of your conquest as you can and now that you can do it on your different tunes and that makes it just that much better speaking of different tunes what if you just have one well let's talk about that ah uh, yes 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 let me tell you something a little insider info majority of people who play star wars the old republic only have one or two tunes that's right not everyone is an altaholic well maybe this is your time to branch out maybe you're like me and you're just like dark side all the way baby just like i live it in life that's right peace is a lie it is indeed i my whole life is the sith code I'm just saying ladies how you doing anyways so maybe you are like me maybe you've just done the dark side the sith side and you're just like screw the republic well now you've got some time maybe it's time to go check the republic and see what's going on there and see wait maybe i want to be a jedi counselor maybe i want to be a smuggler maybe 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 sleep with everything in the universe that could be exactly what you want to do but remember wear a mask you got to protect yourself or be a trooper ah yes the most tantalizing and sometimes boring story of all or the counselor that's that's right get, if you get past chapter one you'll be fine after that it, it goes pretty quickly or the jedi knight get your kotor experiences in here right now it's okay to branch out from the faction that you're typically with and go try something new the stories are amazing i i do have all the classes for uh in 
uh, in the Republic. Uh, yes, I do. Don't tell my friends. Please don't tell anyone. Uh, but I do. And their stories are pretty awesome, just as much as the Sith side, even though I do more, you know, relate to the Sith uh, in real life and in this li in uh, game life as well. So maybe this is something you need to do to branch out. Now let's take a look at something, you know, I like to call Boomy dies a lot in GSF. GFS. GS, whatever. You know, just go to it. Ah, uh, GSF. Yes, right. Galactic Starfighter. What an amazing PvP experience. If you don't want to do the usual PvP experience going out there with your tune, try GSF. That's right. You, Whether you're pub side or imp side, you get to go in there and be in your own little Starfighter. It's like your own personal Top Gun. You are Tom Cruise. You get to do whatever you want. You can have different maps like this is Iocath. There's different maps all over the place as well. So try to get up there. Try to get in there. Try something new. And something cool about this is you can customize your little plane here as I have done numerous times, and some of it is also done through the cartel market or through cartel coins as well, because, you know, why not have that paywall? Because, you know, real oh, freaking... Like I was saying before I accidentally died there, you should go and try Galactic Starfighter. It is actually kind of fun to get into, and it can help with some of your conquest points as well. Now let's get into one of the things that I really enjoy doing, because it helps me make all the millions that I have, but not in real life. Now, ah, here we are, my friend. We are on the GTN, the Galactic Trade Network, where fortunes are made and fortunes are lost. That is right. Maybe this is something you have wanted to do, have wanted to start getting, dipping your feet in. Who knows? Maybe you should. I would. I enjoy it, because I like going in here and making all the monies for all the things. So my friends, here's the thing. So you can get into it. I'm gonna do a whole brand new video on Boomy's tricks to the GTN, but the GTN is pretty fun to go. Say you have some, you open some hyper crates that maybe you won from this channel and you just have crap you just need to unload and you just go on to the GTN, see how much it might be worth. Like this helmet, the Eradicator's mask is worth, I don't know why, but it is 24 million. Now, personally for me, I would never put it up there for that. I would probably make it put up there for 1.2 million. That's just me. But this is also a good way to make money and nickel and dime other players while you try to become the, you know, the freaking, you know, the rich billionaire of SOTOR. Uh, I'm not a billionaire. I'm a millionaire, but not a billionaire. I'm not there yet. But this could be something for you to do while you are just waiting to get back to normal life. Well, maybe you're just really, really bored. And you've heard of this thing called RP, ah, the role-playing game. That's right, outside of the usual standard of stewing story, whatnot, but you and a group of friends, and there are some people who are hardcore into this, let me tell you, there are, where they, their character is far more than just a character. They go into some heavy detail about that character that is for sure like i know people who have sheets and sheets of backstory for their character and i think that's awesome as a writer i love that idea and i've tried some rp before in world of warcraft not really in sotor uh but there is that there's something you knew you guys could try there are rp guilds that you can find them on reddit and all that jazz and if you're feeling extra spunky maybe try some erp that's right What's that? Erotic role playing. It gets weird. It gets really weird. I don't want to talk about it because I'll be demonetized. Email me. Well, here we go. You have more things to do, but you haven't really done them. How about now you have time for dailies? That's right. There's dailies all over SOTOR. And you can also make some good uh, chunk of change doing dailies as well. So, and with the newer content with Onslaught, why not get on some Mechshaw and get those Mechshaw dailies going? Or do what I do and just that's how I feel about dailies. Well, my friends, let me know your thoughts on all these things. My friends, there are a lot of things to do. All joking aside, there are a lot of things to do within SOTOR. That is for sure. And um, with with this extra time we have in our hands because of the thing that should not be named, um, we are here and we are playing SOTOR. We're playing other games. We're getting into things that we just haven't really gone into in a long time or ever before. And so there are, like I said, a lot of things to do in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, um, you know, Galactic Starfighter. You can even do Starfighter. Take your ship out and get go on rails and do that. It's boring, but it's something fun. Cause, and then you can also hunt achievements. 
and all that kind of jazz. Start get into operations in the group finder or flashpoints. And just do some stuff you haven't done before. Challenge yourself. Get into master modes here and there or nightmare as well. But those are just some of my tips and tricks. I know there's a lot of joking going on in there, but you know we need to bring some levity into these situations these days, and that's where you're going to get from me. I'll take it serious, but I will also make you laugh, hopefully, or make you cringe. Who, who knows? Who cares? But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What things are you doing different to help stave off the extra time you apparently now have and in Star Wars The Old Republic? If you like what you see here, make sure you hit that like button. The more likes we get, the more the algorithm likes us, and we like it when the algorithm likes us because it takes us right to the front of the pack where more people can find us to become part of this disaster. I'm sorry, the family here at Booming Nation. And speaking of the family here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Become part of the family here at Booming Nation, the freak show of YouTube, the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends remember to be kind it's about community and don't forget to spay and neuter your wookies and we'll see you later my friends good day